This reaction is brought to you by my $5 or more patrons at patreon.com slash alexheights. I would like to thank Steve Aldersley, Andreas Glacel, at HawkGirlVideo69 on Twitter, Identitech, Kurt David, Mark Ventura, Mason Frost, Matthew McLaughlin, Ray Schuster, Will E. B. Jabber, David Mannion, Ewan Reed, and James Hanley for sponsoring this video, supporting me, my family, the channel. I appreciate it immensely, and I hope you all enjoy the video. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another album reaction. Oh, man. It's, uh, I feel like I'm missing you guys doing these every other week, but uh, it's been very much needed. I've been able to uh, rest and recuperate and just take care of life stuff, which has been really nice. Uh, I was doing these every week, for those who don't know, and um, I'm changed it to every other week, uh, but I've also been doing the live album reactions here and there, which if you're watching this now on YouTube, I just did a couple the day before. So uh, it's it's been nice. It's been nice. We just finished up a poll album a couple weeks ago, uh, Blood on the Tracks by Bob Dylan. Quite a nice, pleasant album, if I must say so myself. Um, now, I haven't done any follow-ups for a while. I'll probably have follow-ups coming out uh, the week after this uh, album reaction comes out, because um, I need to get kind of caught up on those, get those taken care of. So I'm not going to comment much about Surfer Rosa in this video, at least not in any very detailed sense, uh, because I haven't really had a chance to go back and listen and dive in again before I do the follow-up. So um, just keep that in mind going forward in this video that uh, my thoughts on Surfer Rosa have not fully materialized or settled um, after listening to the album before I listen to this one here. So just keep that in mind as, as, uh, as you're watching here. Uh, for those who don't know, I do unedited reactions on my Patreon, patreon.com slash alexheights. For $5 a month, you can get access to unedited reactions from April of 2021 going forward. That's around uh, a little over 40 albums. Uh, of which this will be one of them. Uh, you also get a shout out at the front of the video. Everyone who uh, got the shout out uh, gets access to these unedited reactions, and uh, the five dollars a month helps support the uh, the Vimeo storage fees to uh, upload these unedited reactions because YouTube is a copyright wasteland. Uh, so if that uh, interests you and you want to support the channel, that would be the place to do it. Uh, if not, just a dollar a month gets you access to voting in polls that we do every two to four albums, breaks up the monotony of an artist binge, and just injects interesting miscellaneous albums into the mix. So, want to support the channel? That's where you do it. Also happy to say I'm affiliated with NordVPN, a fantastic VPN service, great prices, great speeds, uh, helps encrypt your data, get access to content only available in other countries, which right now, all kinds of crazy stuff happening. So uh, if you need a VPN, highly recommend NordVPN, been using them for years, and I have an affiliate link in the description if you would like to save some cash buying one. That's all I have for plugs. Here we go, everyone. Doolittle. Ho, 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 Pixies. Second album, 1989. Recorded the same year that uh, Surfer Rosa was released, actually. Um, shortly, uh, it was released in March of 88, and then they recorded Doolittle in October and November of 88. Came out April of the next year. Uh, this is going to be one of the first... Uh, technically, I had heard most of Moon and Antarctica when I had reacted to it. Um, so that, I think, technically takes the cake for like me having heard the most before doing my first album reaction. Um, but I had forgotten most of the songs on there. Like I had vague memories of like the melodies and the chords and they sounded kind of familiar. But um, it had been long ago enough and I wasn't paying attention enough to really kind of keep keep my attention so it felt like a fresh reaction this however i have heard debaser wave of mutilation here comes your man <clears throat> and hey so that's what four songs four out of 15 i mean that's not <clears throat> terrible sorry yeah uh that's not terrible a lot of these songs are also quite short um, yeah, I'm very excited to get into this one. Uh, like I said, I wasn't going to say much about Surfer Rosa. The only thing I will say before I go into Doolittle is the aspects of Surfer Rosa that I didn't like were the short, punkier tracks that just were a little not reliant on melody. Um, I love Debaser. I love Wave Mutilation. Um, I like, what was the other one? Here comes your. I love Here Comes Your Man, and Hey is one of my favorite Pixie songs I've ever heard. 
Um, and they really, all of them have, have very much have, uh, ride a nice line between that kind of messy punk ethos with like some nice noise on the guitar. Um, but also like, especially here comes your man, very melody driven. Um, it's a very accessible album for being so grating. Uh, it definitely is like quintessential noise pop in my mind. Some of those tracks, um, especially like debaser. So I don't know if the rest of the album is going to have that kind of messy punk ethos that I didn't enjoy as much on surfer rosa uh i guess we will have to see uh it's a short album only 38 minutes um i think we're gonna just go ahead and dive right on in like i said i've heard this first track debaser uh but i'm interested and e well, eager to listen to it again so here we go A uh, really great intro to the album, I feel like it It shows like they're really good at writing that line now between the the noise and the melody. Um, like I said, I don't know, the rest of the album could be quite different. I have no idea what to expect. Um, but yeah, just fantastic song, of course. I like it. All right, Tame, under two minutes. You know, I've uh, I've talked in these videos before about what I call like transitionary tracks. Some people might call them filler, which I think there are filler tracks in albums, but sometimes a certain type of track gets called a filler track when it's not. Um, and I call them like more transitionary tracks or album tracks. Uh, and that was a good example of that um, because that is a great bridge between Debaser and Wave of Mutilation. Very simple, um, but again, it's it's like I think Kim Deal's bass presence on this album is something to note, um, and not to say it was absent before, but like they're using it in a much more holistic way. Everything's way more focused on this album uh, so far compared to Surfer Rosa, which. I find to be quite a messy album. And I like, there was a lot of people in the comments too who were sympathetic with the way I felt, which was really interesting because I have only ever heard great things about Surfer Rosa. And when I listened to it and was like, ah, I, don't, I don't like, like, I don't enjoy like half of the tracks here because uh, it's just not the Pixies that I know and love. And everyone else, most people were like, yeah, I kind of feel the same way, which was really surprising to me. Um, so here so far though, um, it's it's good. I, I'm liking like this is like quintessential pixies for me. I don't know about for everyone else, but for me, good. All right, uh, wave of mutilation, great track. I think this was aside from where is my mind in Fight Club. This was one of my first introductions to the pic to pixies because uh, it was in like Guitar Hero or Rock Band or something. <laughs>
It's good. I also like that like they just have like a very simple idea and they just like do it and they're done and they're gone and they move on. Um, which part of the reason I don't like the really short punkier tracks from some bands is because it's like it's half of an idea. And even though like a song is like a minute 50, I'm like, I, you didn't do anything and then you were gone. Um, whereas like this, it's like, ooh, nice infectious melody. Okay, we're done. You just, you know, you don't, it's like a British sitcom. You don't overstay your welcome. I like it. I Bleed, have not heard this. Kim Deal. Very interesting track. Um, again, that bass coming in, good bass line, good melody. Uh, interesting, like, chord shift at the end there. Goes a little bit more, like, darker and minor. Um, I mean, like, obviously, like, the bass or wave mutilation, here comes your man. All the big songs I've heard are, like, more popular because they're arguably better. But, like, Tame was fine. I Bleed was pretty good. Um yeah, the, these uh, these other album tracks that I haven't heard yet before, um, they're they're stacking up. They're stacking up. All right, here comes your man. Love it. So good, man. Uh, apparently, I was looking at the Wikipedia for the song while listening. Uh, Black Francis, I guess, is that just what I call him now? I mean, like, he's gone through, like, 50 names. He's currently Black Francis. At the time, he was Frank Black, I think. I don't know. Uh, wrote the song when he was around 14 or 15. Uh, and then... Uh, Ivo Watts Russell, 4AD label head, of course, uh, intentionally left it out of the Come On Pilgrim release, saying they liked the song, but it felt just too obviously commercial, and I didn't know what we were doing with the band. Um, and that's kind of why it wasn't on the first two albums, was because it was just kind of like, uh, also uh, Frank felt the same way, where it's like it's too straightforward. Uh, but it became like one of their biggest hits, obviously. Um, super accessible, fun song. Um, and even still got that Pixies, uh, esoteric, dark lyrics, you know, fun stuff, <laughs> fun stuff. All right. Next track dead. Have not heard it. Let's see what we got.
Good. Um, kind of surprised actually. Like as it started, it just felt like another, um, you know, kind of noisy power poppy type of track, kind of similar to Tame in a way. But it uh, like that got that melody broke out again. You know, some like nice little thing that you can just kind of bob your head to flows with the rhythm really well. Um, probably my least favorite so far, but only by like a tiny bit. I like it slightly. Um, I don't know. It might be on par with Tame. It's hard to say. Anyway, Monkey Goes to Heaven. Um, this is, I think, a single. I have not heard this track, though, so let's see what we got. Interesting. Not bad. Um, it's not as much of a standout as some other tracks here, obviously, as far as like, I wouldn't even say like melody or pop appeal, but uh, I don't know. It's 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 a very like, like kind of transitionary track again, actually, um, even though it's uh, apparently a single, but it was good. It was good. A bit of a different uh, taste. I wouldn't say dreamier, but it definitely is like, it was a little more restrained than some of the other in your face rockier stuff. Mr. Greaves. Hope everything is all right. Hope everything is all on a daughter. I believe in Mr. Greaves. You know, this is going to make me sound like a, a real baby who doesn't like hard music. Give me something that sounds catchy. I mean, I'm... A, I'm I don't feel like I'm a child. Do you think I'm a child? Tell me. Be honest in the comments. Rip me to shreds. I, I mean, I love, I love like sugary, good, catchy pop, so long as there's still good like texture to it. I, I like something that's kind of in the middle, like a, very much this kind of a thing. There's definitely this thread of pop appeal throughout a lot of these songs. Um, this is way more in line with something a little bit more traditional and mainstream than what they were toying with before. I'll give them that. It's still very, there's a lot, still a lot of friction in it though. A lot to chew on, a lot to think about, which I really like. Um, yeah, like it, it, there's the songs are like consistently interesting. There hasn't been one where I've just been like, okay, that's the like, that's the weak one of the album. There might still be one on here like this. I don't know, but uh, so far it's like all these ones I haven't heard before are fine, pretty good in fact. So I'm very pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. Not surprised, but. I'm pleased that uh, my fears of this being just a messy, crazy uh, noise album is not the case. Anyway, Crackety Jones. Jose Jones told me alone his story. Was that the was that was that the song that I just said might be coming? Uh, I mean, it was entertaining. Apparently, it was about uh, his roommate that he had. 
um, as a student. Um, I mean, th there it is. It was so short. Uh, and it was definitely the punkiest one. Very little melody to it. Um, but I mean, you know, every album has that, like, that one. Not every album. Most albums have that just one, like, why is this here track. I don't know. We'll move on. La La Love You. golly you know that's fine uh i like how like empty that song was like nothing happened as far as lyrics go just a nice little pleasant you know bouncy indie rock kind of track fine i liked it number 13 baby Ooh. It's good. I, I was a little like, I wouldn't say apprehensive for a while because it, as it started, I was just kind of like, oh, this is a little straightforward, almost dull. Um, but it won me back in the end. I really like that just simple instrumental, like power pop kind of uh, outro, like very simple, like power chord, rhythm, guitar, and then a very basic riff over it. Um, yeah. This has been a really good album so far. I've really enjoyed a lot of these songs. And we still have a few to go. There goes my gun. Okay. <laughs> There's something like oddly entertaining about that one, even though, uh, again, another like short track. I don't know why it's there. It could have been left off and it wouldn't have hurt the album any because it didn't really add much, but I, I didn't hate it. I wasn't just like, kill me. Hey, honestly, favorite, uh, Although Here Comes Your Man is a close second. I think that uh, Hey is my favorite Pixies song. I just, I love the composition. I love the bass. I just love everything about it. So let's listen to it. Hey! Doom. Been trying. Hey! 
So good. The the phrasing is great. Um, I mean, like I said, like I love the guitar playing. Um, the the acoustic guitar is like super interesting, like the way it's played on the like that's like a I don't I'm just gonna completely mess it up, but it's actually a lot of fun to play because it's like a tiny half bar chord. Um, and then that great little like soft riff coming down off of the first chorus going back into the uh, verses just like oh so good so good that's quintessential pixies for me right there all right two tracks left everyone silver penultimate track let's go What an interesting penultimate track. Uh, I've noticed that there were a few tracks on here, I don't remember which ones they are, that had this weird almost like uh, like Western vibe to them. Um, interesting. Okay, yeah, not like a standout to me. It was very simple. Felt like another album track, another transitionary track, not a filler track. Uh, Gouge Away, last one. I know that uh, people enjoy this one. Let's see what we got. intriguing um like not one of the better songs on here but like again you have a nice uh bass presence with kim deal there um decent melody it's a good outro song like it's a nice uh button to end the album on compared to debaser to open the album on um a nice like kind of come down track but still has that that friction to it good Okay, that is, uh, that's Doolittle, everybody. We did it. Fantastic. I really like this album a lot. Um, way, way more than Surfer Rosa, personally, if I may be so bold. The only tracks I didn't like were Crackety Jones. Um, I, I think that's the worst one on the album. Just kind of, like, it doesn't make sense why it's there, and it, it doesn't do a whole lot, and doesn't add a bunch. There are tracks like There Goes My Gun and Silver, which are just kind of there. Um, but I'm not mad that they're there. That Like, again, album tracks, transitionary tracks. It helps with the flow. This album had a great flow to it. Um, new songs that I hadn't heard before that I like. I liked uh, I Bleed. Dead had some interesting stuff going on. Mr. Greaves was kind of wild. Um... La La Love You was solid. Uh, I like the end of number 13, Baby. 
Um, Gouge Away was solid as well. Really good, sub 40 minute album. And there's a lot of really interesting ideas here. Yeah, uh, love this thing. Excited to listen to it more. Um, and I'm very pleasantly surprised that it was not um, what Surfer Rosa was. I thought they were going to be like one in the same. And this is almost a, a borderline different band. They really focused in on their strengths here compared to Surfer Rosa. I sound like I'm just like bad mouthing Surfer Rosa. That's not. I don't hate that album at all. Um, it's it's just a more of a preference thing, honestly. I really like what Pixies were able to do here. And as far as like alt rock goes in the '80s, granted, I have not gotten into REM yet. Um, I don't know how much you'd call them alt rock versus jangle pop, whatever you know, college rock. Um, but that is actually going to be the next band we're doing, I'm pretty sure. Let me double check that after Pixies. Yep, R.E.M. doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight albums from R.E.M. Uh, we'll also link in the description for the uh, reaction album schedule. Uh, yeah, this was great. Um, definitely some of my favorite alt rock of the 80s here. Um, and just kind of set the standard, man, for alt rock and grunge going forward. Jeez. Ooh. Anyway, um, I think that's about all we got here, everyone. Stay tuned for more. Uh, next one we're going to be doing is Bossa Nova in a couple weeks. And uh, like I said, should have a couple, um, what do you call it, uh, live reactions that just went up recently that I did on Friday. Uh, so check those out if you're interested. And uh, stay tuned for Bossa Nova coming up next. Okay. That is it, everyone. That is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed the album. It was a nice time. Things to plug it again. Patreon.com slash Alex Heights. If you're still interested, or if you're if you're interested and you still haven't dived in, $5 a month, unedited reactions, of which this is one. And if not, even just a dollar a month it helps support the channel, it gets you access to voting in the polls. Also got to plug the Discord, link in the description for that. Got about 100 and almost 175 members, I think, over there now. Uh, lots of fun music discussion, recommendations, topster charts, memes, just people chatting, having a nice old time over there, talking about music and things. Uh, and that's it. That's all I have for you guys. Um, nothing new to say, I don't think. Um, I have plugged my new Analog Horror channel on uh, the this channel before. But if you haven't checked it out, go check out the HDD Recovery Project. I should have it linked in my channel network on my actual YouTube channel page. I um, have about 40 subscribers over there. So thank you everyone who's hopped on over there and checked out the analog horror series I've been making. I think that's it. I think that's it. So until next time, everyone, thank you for watching. Godspeed. Godspeed.